In this video, you will learn how to change the scale on an Excel graph. Currently, you can see here I have inserted a line graph and you will learn how to change the maximum values and minimum values of these y-axis. Additionally, you will also learn how to change the major unit and minor unit in vertical axis of line graph. You can also apply similar procedure for bar graph as well. I have already uploaded the videos on that topic. You can watch that videos if you are interested. Let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, I will select this data to generate a line graph. After selecting this data, go to insert option. And in insert, you will find the option of line graph. Click here and select this one. Now you can see here Excel has successfully generated a line graph. Now firstly you will learn how to change the maximum value. Currently the maximum value is 70,000. Click here and a border will be appeared. It means that you have selected Y axis. Right click and you will find the option of format axis. Select this option. Now under bounds options, you will find two options. First one is the minimum value and second one is the maximum values. Currently the maximum value is 70,000 and I am interested to change this 70,000 to 65,000. So I will click here and I will write 65,000 instead of 70,000. Now you can see here I have write 65,000 instead of 70,000 after Doing that, click anywhere in blank sheet or blank cell. Now you can see here the maximum value is changed to 65,000. Now you will learn how to change the minimum values. Currently the minimum value is minus 5,000 and I will change it to 25,000. Again select Y axis values. You can see here a border appeared. It means that the Y axis or vertical axis values are selected. Place your cursor here, right click, go to format axis option and from here change the minimum value to 25,000. After changing values, click anywhere here. Now you can see here the minimum value is changed to 25,000. Now you will learn how to adjust the difference between these two values that are also called the major units. For example, currently you can see here the difference between these two values is 5000. I will change it to 10,000. Select this one, right click, go to format axis option. And here you will find the option of units. And the first one is the major unit and second one is the minor unit. Change the major unit to 10,000 instead of 5,000 and the difference between these two values will be changed to 10,000. I will write 10,000. Click anywhere in this sheet. Now you can see here the values is changed and the difference between these two values is 10,000. Now you will learn how to change the minor unit. Select this one. Right click. Again go to format axis option. And under unit option, you will find the option of minor. You have already learned how to change the minimum values, maximum values, and major unit. Now you will learn how to change these minor units. These minor units shows the number of tick marks between these two values. Currently, you can see here the difference is 2000. This minor unit shows the number of tick marks between these two major values. For example, if I scroll down and go to tick marks option, and from here, I will insert tick marks on outside, minor types outside. Now you can see here the tick marks are shown here. And currently, the minor units is 2000. It means that there will be five tick marks between these two values. And if I change to 5000, then there will be only two tick marks. I will write 5000 as a minor units. And click anywhere in sheet now you can see here the number of tick marks between these two values is only two 
so by doing so you can easily change the maximum values minimum values minor unit as well as major units that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye